person that came up with this, though. I think it was ourselves. I give them a massive big hug. Oh, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> I was actually good. <laughs> When we first started the business, we were, um, you know, we were focused on the retail inside of it. So, you know, the concept of smoothie bars came from America, and we, you know, we saw an opportunity to start one here back in the UK, um, and more particularly at the university campus. Um, but what we found was doing events. We, we bought a mobile smoothie cart where we were doing different events around the city centre, and uh, we had a lot of interest from um, from kids who were initially queuing up at the burger stand be coming over and sort of harassing us, asking what's going on, what's going on, you know, with these different fruits. Then, you know, something sort of clicked in our in our heads and we're like, hang on a minute, we've got kids um, in, a, in an area which isn't particularly known for its fruit consumption, asking and uh, being inquisitive about fruit. And uh, that was, that was a, I guess, a light bulb moment where we thought, you know, the process of making a smoothie meant that you know, we could interact at a level with kids and basically breaking down barriers which initially you know, would have been there with trying to give kids fruit. And so you know, that, that sort of sparked the idea of, um, you know, initially it was on the nutrition side, but obviously with us having a keen passion and interest in enterprise, it sort of uh, um, ventured out and branched out from there. We got into enterprise in schools, originally in a primary school where one of our customers asked us to come in. Um, we did a healthy eating workshop and it went really, really well. <clears throat> Following that, we were asked to go into a secondary school and we thought we can't just go in and talk to kids about healthy eating, so we'll get stuff thrown at us. So we thought we've got to turn it into something interesting and exciting, so we thought we'll turn it into um, a business workshop, a business, a business competition where they have to come up with new products for us. Those pro products obviously being healthy, which has got the added benefit there. And from that we wanted to actually have a pupil run business in a school selling smoothies. Um, obviously we knew it would be a lot easier to get the catering staff doing it themselves but it would get away from our core interest in encouraging business and their aspirations and the fact that the pupils are going to be a lot better than us, the catering staff, the headmaster, anyone that's selling healthy eating to their friends and that's how that came about. The initial idea for the smoothie bar came from a meeting that our principal had with Zing themselves. Uh, he went off, he spoke to them, thought it was a great idea, um, brought it back to the academy. We discussed it, we also agreed that we thought it was a brilliant idea, something that the students uh, would not have experienced before, that they would find particularly interesting and, and you know, that would be healthy in, in the long run. Um, so after his initial meeting he came back, we spoke about it um, and we then discussed how we might launch that across the academy. The first thing we did was we, we identified a member of staff that we knew um, could run the smoothie bar, was interested in business. We'd recently appointed a learning mentor and as part of her interview she'd said that you know, she was very keen to develop business aspects within the academy. Obviously one of our specialisms is business and so we kind of spoke to her about it. She then recruited the students herself um, and had conversations with them about whether they were keen, whether they were not keen to kind of participate. I ran my own food business for 10 years before I came to work within the school. It was The business was actually alongside a senior school and I had a lot of interaction with the children who went to that school and they became really regular customers and that kind of inspired me to come to work in the school. Initially I came as a, a teaching assistant and then I moved on to being a learning mentor and when we first looked at the smoothie idea I then took on the role as Enterprise Coordinator as well because I had the business background. The school had to put up some money initially to convert the room and purchase the, the franchise. Educational value that we've received back far outweighs the cost. It can be seen as a risk because obviously you know, you're investing a lot of time, you know, investing obviously money in a project. Um, but one of the key things we really want to, you know, express is this is you know, this is life changing, and it, and it can, you know, potentially be life changing to, to many pupils. Some of the main benefits of learning like this is problem solving. It's very hard to get that in the classroom, but we see the, the pupils overcoming a lot of problems that a, a business would have. Um, and thinking independently, nobody's telling them what to do. Obviously, they're being mentored, but it's the group as a whole who comes up with decisions. And even when it comes to making decisions, they have to think about how they make decisions. And is that one person, or do they, as a group, vote? Um, so these are all huge skills when it comes to going out into the workplace. And, and employers want to see people with good attitudes it's not just about qualifications on a piece of paper. What have you done that you didn't have to do? 
Those are the things that we as employees at our shops look for. Have you ever done anything that you didn't need to do but you went out of your way to do it because that is the sort of attitude you want in the workplace? Well, when we move on from here, it'll, I think it'll be like the first thing we put on our CV because, you know, we yeah. absolutely love it here and, it's, you know. It's taught us a lot and it's helped us for later in life with our yeah. work skills and messing with people. Because it is a real business. So we know what we're, what we're doing, handling money and stocks and stuff like that. The company structure, the students set that up themselves. They decided what roles they thought they would need. We had some guidance from our financial director of the school. He decided what the wage would be for the students. He decided a young apprentice wage would be more than satisfactory. It's more than they would earn on a paper round, which was a big, big bonus for them. We had to contact the local council to get work permits for all of the students because they were restricted on how much time they can work in any one day. I think at the moment it's two hours. As long as they're getting the breaks and lunches provided, they can work two hours. And so that fits in perfect. Our smoothie business is like any business. Um, the, the space that we had created for the delivery of, of the product itself had to go through the same health and safety regulations. Our students needed the same certification um, as anybody working in the food industry would actually need. Therefore we had to kind of consider that, we had to give them the, the appropriate training. They were assessed. Um, it runs as a normal business just inside a school environment. It was worrying dealing with environmental health officers at first because it was a bit worried of how we might not pass it and if it closes down. But we turned out we got a really good mark for it. And it's just about keeping everything clean and making sure everything's safe and keeping uniform in order. On a daily basis, students come down to the smoothie bar to ask if there's any vacancies or how they can get themselves on a work waiting list so that they can actually work in the smoothie bar. What we routinely do is when students maybe leave the academy or decide they don't want to work there because they've got other commitments, maybe coursework has got a bit top heavy, they maybe stand down for a while. So we put up advertisements around the academy and students will actually write as you would for any job, put an application in and the successful candidates are then interviewed by myself and Steve Kelly who's our financial director and we have like key questions about how they would feel about cleaning or being asked to do something by somebody of the same age group, not somebody in authority or a teacher like they often have. So we always have a great queue of people who want to come and join us and start getting that pay packet on a Friday. It's amazing the impact that we have on the, the pupils themselves. And just today I spoke to two pupils that have now decided to stay on at sixth form so they can continue working. Others have demonstrated the fact that they can now, they're getting rewarded by their parents who are really proud of them. They know how to manage their time and they understand that um, if you take responsibility and you accept it and you do well through it, that good things happen and there's that, um, they start to associate putting effort in, taking responsibility to positive things. I've absolutely seen an improvement in other areas around the academy after the students have started working in the smoothie bar. Other members of staff have also commented how well the students have come on and developed in the, within themselves and how they focus in their work changes because they've got they seem more driven, more focused and enthusiastic. I feel a great sense of pride. I, mean, I, I never thought I'd be able to do what I've accomplished and I never thought I'd be able to get on time, I thought I'd be late or the summit had come up and I'd, I'd mess up. But no, I've turned up on time, I've worked sensibly, I've looked after things, I haven't messed everything up. I, I feel proud of myself for doing as well as I have. Anybody that was considering launching a smoothie bar um, or any business inside their, inside their school, I would say it, it's, it's something that you need to consider. It's something that strategically as a leadership team you need to give serious thought to um, and planning for. Ultimately, all students benefit, all staff benefit, um, and it's part of that the, the bigger social responsibility that we've got. Yes, we educate students in English and maths, okay, but there we need for those skills to become transferable. Having a business inside the school, or for us inside the academy, actually demonstrates what those transferable skills are. 
other students get to see a role model. You know, they, they look at us as staff as role models. We encourage them to find role models. And there's actually a, a practical aspect of that inside the building that they can look at, they can see. Um, some of the younger students may well even aspire to kind of work in that environment at one point in their school career. You would start by getting in contact with the SSAT or directly with com a company like ourselves, Ink Smoothies, who can guide you through a step-by-step -step process because that's what it is, it's a process. And you know, we haven't cherry-picked the schools we've been into. We've gone to the schools that where we've been needed. Um, you know, it's in a deprived area and it's been it's been a great success selling fruit. Like who would have thought so it can we know it can work anywhere. This wouldn't have happened without Zing Smoothies. Thing Smoothies, from us meeting them first of all at Hull University for, at the Enterprise Day, then came in and spent the day with the students, encouraging them, getting to mix up different flavours, discussing the different jobs that could be available within the smoothie bar. Without them, we could not have done something like this ourselves. In terms of have we got any regrets over the decisions that we've made, um, absolutely not. No, it's been completely beneficial to students. I would say that we've been particularly lucky, um, obviously we're the first kind of school to work with Zing uh, on this particular project. They've been highly supportive of students, giving us a lot of advice um, which we have learned from as a leadership team but also which the students have learned from themselves. You know, so I would, I would really encourage anybody to, to get on board with it. Um, it's, like, it's like anything in education, uh, it's difficult but it's rewarding.